a vertical farm. Israel became famous for making the desert bloom. And now, Israeli innovators are going even further, turning walls and parking lots into flourishing agricultural spaces. In the last decade, agriculture going through a tremendous changes. We're talking about adding big data, AI, automation, robots that are involved. And the vertical farming is, in my eyes, definitely part of the leading engine in under agriculture. The global population is growing, but with it, space and resources are diminishing, raising a question of how we will feed the generation generations of the future, a question that could be answered using vertical farming, saving space, time, and the environment. When you grow lettuce in open field, it's between 60 to 70 days. In greenhouse, it's between 30 to 40 days. We grow here lettuce in 21, 20 days, two days. Both feed containers can grow approximately half of an acre. While the system is advanced, it is quite simple for the average person to operate. We're talking about uh, an advanced uh, technology, lightning technology, uh, climate controls, uh, pH, moistures, and other parameters uh, that's being led by uh, local sensors that basically collect the data and monitor the way the plant is going. For an unskilled person to take care and operate the plant, it takes a couple of hours of training and then he can do it by himself. Usually it takes more, not more than 30, 40 minutes a day to maintain and manage the uh, entire cycles of the uh, farm including planting, harvesting, cleaning, and maintaining the, the operation. In Israel, the system is beginning to be adopted by select Rami Levy grocery store branches, as well as restaurants, and has begun providing services in New York as well. Naturally, we are link innovation to uh, expensive product. At the end of the day, lettuce, herbs, uh, leafy greens are being sold here on the shelf of Rami Levy in the same price or even lower. The herbs are wonderful. They are good and delicious much cleaner. You can see that it is fresh. We're in 2020 now. It's not strange. It's great to see that we are developing and want to show customers how the plant grows and it's in front of their eyes. I think it's a lovely idea and an inspired project. Such growing systems can also play an important role in food security during the time of a pandemic, reducing food waste and increasing availability. Consumer now is more hesitant of what he brings to his mouth, right? What he, what he eats, and how many uh, hands touch the food that he consumes. And uh, people were hesitating to come to work. Farmers didn't come to work, so uh, the, 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 the farmers need to destroy part of the produce. They cannot ship it. On top of that, there was no, no plant, no transportation, so there were more difficulties of transporting produce from one side to the, to the other. The units produced by Vertical Field are also being implemented in retirement homes, providing a positive stimulus for residents with dementia and Alzheimer's and also in schools. The pupils are involving in growing, they're learning about technology, they're learning about agriculture, they mainly learning about taking responsibility of the way the food is growing and then they eat it in uh, lunchtime. Establishing the roots for a healthier future.